Hi guys, it's me Jace. Yay! This is so exciting because this is my own channel. Yee! Applause, applause, applause. Okay, so I would just like to say thank you to everybody who subscribed. That was fast. I posted like, I don't know, I think like two days ago and then <clears throat> in one hour I had 270 subscribers and now it's almost 300. So I just want to say thank you. My God, you guys are, aw are awesome. You guys are amazing. I was just going to say amazing and then I think awesome. <laughs> okay, so you guys are amazing and I just want to say thank you and I promise you I will do my best to make sure that I deliver good tutorials for you and hopefully you will subscribe for a very long time. Okay. <clears throat> so to launch this new channel i am presenting tablet this is my latest design i'm very proud of it because i like it a lot okay doublet is a jacket during the 14th to the 17th century and just like the corset this is my male version for corset and the doublet was the the jacket for men um it had a round collar if you notice that's the inspiration for those round um round stitches that you see and then it also had double breasted jackets when you say double breasted they're overlapping they're like you know like the jacket to left to right and then so that's the inspiration for that then this is the, the cuff is the inspiration for the collar and of course the sides are the inspiration for the sleeves because the sleeves were pleated and cuffed and uh, not cuffed um, um puffed rather so if you search it doublet you will see how the jacket looks like and hopefully you will see the inspiration from this bracelet so without any further ado i am going to teach you to make the doublet okay hopefully you like it and please do tag me jace alvarez when you make it or lex tutor ha okay so we will be using three colors for this we will be using gray white <coughs> and turquoise spell turquoise <laughs> okay can i just spell red okay so what we are going to do is we are going to teach you that and we are have going to have a four bar pen setup this is two looms long because i want to make a full wrap and then um you're going to have it um in this configuration wherein two of the bar pins are lower than the other two outside okay so without any further ado i am sure that you are excited to try it we are going to go straight to the tutorial okay to start with get two bands and you know me and my signature moves <laughs> i put two bands at the bottom because that is my lock and that will make it secure and stronger okay oops please dead please dead that's it okay <clears throat> so once you've done that you are going to get your first color sock section <clears throat> color for your first section which is gray anyway and then you go out just go out just like that okay and then from there you will add more one on each side going up one on each side going up okay and then your next step is that you're going to go inside from the sides there one each and after you go in from the side you are going to put the x in the middle x x bands okay and after you put your x bands you are going to go outside from the middle going up see so you went in you placed your x and then you went out after you go out you are going to put the very first cuff band i will call this the cuff okay by the way i haven't seen <coughs> some that i haven't really seen people use this kind of stitch so i'm calling it the cuff stitch and i will make it my signature move <laughs> okay so the cuff stitch is something that i will integrate in my designs and then hopefully someday we can come up with a contest using the cuff stitch and let us see who is the most creative that's exciting okay so after you put the cuff you are going to put two bands going up from the middle on top of the cuff okay and since you've got the cuff already the next step that you're going to do is to close this section by putting two bands on the side just like that 
Okay. See? So you've basically closed that whole section. See? And then once you've closed that whole section, you will close it with your cup again. Just like that. Very easy. So the color for the cuff can really be well it can be the same as your gray but the thing is it won't come out so the best thing for you to let your design come out is that you use color a color that is different you can use different colors rainbow colors it's up to you but i would suggest you let it stand out because that's the that's the reason for that design it's to make that stand out so now that you've completed that section this is where actually the pattern starts because here you can't see it because this has to go so extra there so now here it's it starts from here so the first thing that you will do from this section is to put two bands going up from where you stop on the sides okay so that's your turquoise turquoise then from the two side bands you are going to go out from your cuff so you put two going out two going up okay and then you put two again going up Ta -da. <coughs> Ta -da. <coughs> okay and now that you put those two going up you're going to put two going in two going in that's two one two Okay, and what did I say earlier? You will put the X, and then you put another one, X, going there. Okay, and then after the X, you go out. Oh, no, no, sorry. <coughs> oh, no, I'm right, yeah, you, you go out. So from the X, you go to the sides again. There, okay. And from the sides, then you add your cup again. Sorry, I know it's a bit confusing. Even I, in the beginning, had a hard time memorizing my own pattern. <laughs> on the side again. Okay? So once you've placed your cuff... Where are my bands? Oh, here. Okay, so you've placed your cuffs. You already have those. Okay, so you place your cuffs while I was rambling. Then I go straight again. From there. Okay. I'm trying to, to find a way to explain this better, but it's just really... Ha! Huh. Okay. This is probably going to be a difficult one for you, but I, I apologize in advance. <laughs> okay. So now that you've got that, you've got to add... Okay. you got to add bands going out. Just like that. <coughs> okay. And then you close it with your cuff again. Ta-da! Okay. You guys probably hate me right now because <laughs> I'm not explaining this well. Okay, we will try it once again and then hopefully I will be able to explain it properly. Okay? So, let us repeat the pattern. You're probably thinking, what's happening to Jason? He's so confused. You know what? Actually, I think I am in a way because when I was creating this, I didn't really have a structure in mind. I just knew that I wanted it to look a certain way. And I wanted the bands to go a certain way. So whenever I think of something, I think it's because my mind goes overdrive. And so sometimes I'm confused with myself. But here, let's try. So to start the pattern, the first thing that you will do is to put one band on the left. And one band on the right okay that's the first one and then from there you are going to put from the center going out from the center going out again step two step three you will put two again going up straight up at step three step four you go inside again just like that that's step four step five is you create the X that's step five step five step six is from that peg you go out again 
step 6. And then step 7, you put your cuff. Okay, step 7. Step 8 is you're going to put two bands still from the same color going up. Just like that. Okay. And step 8, lastly, you're going to put two bands going out. Just like that. And lastly, you close it with a cuff. Ta-da! Oh my god, I think I got it. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So let's do this one more time. And then we will go off cam and finish the entire thing. Because otherwise you guys are going to be so bored. It's going to take forever. Okay. So one more time. Step one. Going out from the sides. Going up one bar pin. Step one is going up one bar pin. Okay. Step two. You go out. Just like that. Okay. That's step two. Step three is you go straight up again. Just go straight out. Okay. And then step four, you go in from those two pegs that you just added bands to. Step four, you just go in again from that middle. Okay. Step five is you create your cross. Oops. Cross. Step six is you go out from those two ends. Step seven is you add your cuff. And then step eight is you go in again. I'm oh, sorry, no. Step eight is you go straight up. Then the last step is you add this. Not last, second to the last. You close it again. You close the section again. And then last you add your cuff. Hopefully that was clear and <laughs> not so confusing. I know it can be a little bit confusing. If you guys have concerns, just let me know on the Instagram and I will send you something. Maybe email you pictures so you can get the idea. Okay? But most likely I think you'll get it. So just one last thing because it's one last because I don't know if you're that confident but let us just do it one last time. Okay? So one time again. So from the left you go up one bar pin. And then from the last from the far right you go up one bar pin. Okay? And then from the center two pegs you go out. And then you go out. Okay? It's basically just connecting each. Where you stop is also where you start. And then the followed by... Oh, look. Large band. I don't want to do that. Then from there, since you, you, you placed from here going out, that's where you start again going up. Go up. Okay? And then, from where you added bands, which are these two, because you added going up, right? Then from here, you go in. Okay. You get it? Okay. Now, once you've already added going in, because that's where you added, your, that's your cue to put the X bands for these four. There. Okay. Once you've added those X bands, X bands and you ended there, now is the cue to go out. <coughs> expands and then you go out see it's not as confusing as it sounds and since you've got that sequence complete with the X and the bands going out you can now put your cuff Ta -da! okay after you've placed your cuff you can now go straight forward from that peg again so if you notice you're actually just starting from almost the same peg all the time okay and now that you've gone finishing that off that goes to straight that is the end of your sequence so you close it now with the two bands going out okay so basically see it's really just eight sides two four six eight so that's all you're completing here that whole section once you've done all of that then you put your cuff again 
Tada! Okay? So hopefully that wasn't so complicated. I think more most likely got it now. So just rewind in case you don't get it. Keep rewinding until you get it. And if you still don't get it, well, what can I do? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just message me on Instagram and I'll help you. Okay? So I'll be back in a few seconds. I'll just finish this and then we can go start the looping. See you in a while. Hi guys, I'm back. Okay, so now that we've laid all the bands, as you noticed, we've got all our sections covered all the way up. We are now going to start the looping process. And in the end, all I did was to just really add two cap bands. Two cap bands is enough. It's going to be safe already. So, we are now going to start. I've already turned my loom around, so I don't need to turn it anymore. Make sure that the opening of the bar pins are facing you and your arrow is pointing downwards okay so the first step of the looping is well most of it is just really bringing them back to themselves so that shouldn't give you a problem and all you have to do is to just go for the band that is on top all the time that's not hard right so the first thing that you need to do is to go into that cap band and get the top most band and bring it up to itself get the topmost band of the other side and bring it up to itself okay and then get the next one and bring it up to itself get the next one and bring it up to itself now important your middle section these two pegs there's always two okay that is the only no sorry those are the only pegs where you loop outwards okay they don't go in you go out okay so you go in here you get the topmost you bring it up to itself you go here oh wait i messed it up did i hold on backwards backwards okay sorry 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 that is not the topmost <laughs> repeat 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 <laughs> okay so we looped out the bottom okay sorry i know this is my design and i confused myself the first band is of course the cough the white one okay so here's what my coughing technique is you get it you put it on top of the other side okay and then you go back in you get the other one and you bring it out put it back on the other side Ta -da! okay that's how it's done now we can go back in and cross the bands. The first one on top goes that way to its own peg. Then you get the other one, bring it home to its own peg. Stretchy, stretchy. Okay? So if you notice, that's how it gets that cough, and then that's how it gets its double breasted. So you get the next one at the bottom and bring it out. Get the one at the bottom and bring it out. There. Easy peasy. And then before you go any further, you will start looping the sides. So the looping of the side bands is not one whole succession all the way up. You have to loop it per section. So once you've closed this section, that's when you loop the border bands. Then you go up. And you loop it like that. Okay? Then you get the topmost of that border band and then you loop it in like that Oops. and then you get the other one and loop it in just like that then you get the border bands again and loop it up and then you get the border bands here and loop it up Chan. that simple mostly just bringing them back home now before you go to the next section you have to look for your cuff again that's the topmost band anyway then you loop it back again to its own i'm oh, sorry to the post right beside it where the other side of the band is then you just bring the other one at the bottom basically just switching pegs see okay and then now we start with the new section cha -ja! okay for the new section, all you have to do is to just loop upwards again like earlier. 
move upwards just like that earlier same with the bottom just go up same with the bottom just go up okay now from the center pegs you go out okay you get the first band the cuff and then you start doing that again so it's just one step for the cuff if you notice okay then you start getting the bands at the bottom and bring them out get the other ones you can just go to the same peg because it doesn't matter go there and then you get the last one and bring it up ja -ja! get the other one on side bring it out oops sorry I'm blocking it get the other one cross it and then get the other one cross it again Okay, so you've finished everything in the middle, now you go back to your border bands. Border bands. Border bands. Chijing. Okay. So since you block that, and just so you know, the style is always to make sure that's why the steps are that way because you're securing every band making sure they did not end up not having anything securing them so so we loop those sides now we go back there and loop up the most the topmost rubber band which is that border and then you bring that up two and then you lock it also and then you bring the other one up two on top to itself the other side just put it back to itself okay and then you lock the cuff so basically you're just looking for the band that's at the top most so just so that you don't get confused the one that's on top is always the first one to there okay one more time ha 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 Okay, so go dig and get the topmost band and bring it home to itself. Get an other one, bring it up to itself. Go to the other side, get the topmost band and bring it up to itself. Get the topmost band, next one, bring it up to itself. Okay? And now you go to the center and concentrate on that. You don't go out, you just stay here and loop the cuff. Remember that is my signature move. Haha. <laughs> and then, although of course I don't know if somebody else has used it, but I, I, I'm really trying my best to recall. I don't think I have. So if ever that someone has, let me know. And then we can always talk about how we can work around it. There. Then you get that middle peg again and go up across then you put the ones on the side there actually you know what sometimes the layering of the bands for this particular design isn't really affecting which one goes on first because it doesn't really have much technicality in it so there okay oops sorry yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, I kind of messed up this one, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 you stay there. You staying there. Okay, these two bands are supposed to go in, sorry. So what we're gonna do is bring this there. Okay, bring the other one there. Um, wait, oh my god, why am I messing up so much? Okay, I think I, just, I, I was so talkative, you put it back. Sorry, sorry, my apologies. I know this is the first video, should have helped me make that mistake, but it's too late to delete the entire thing and repeat all over again. Okay, so sorry, just keep it there. We'll have to loop the border bands first. I forgot about it. Sorry, I almost, I almost forgot. So, border bands first, Jason. Listen well, you're too talkative. Okay, so there. 
Not that you've got the border 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 pants in. You can work this out now. So funny how you get so confused with something you're so used to doing. I think that's the problem. You keep repeating it and then suddenly you don't know it anymore. So there, see? Then you get the border bands again going up. There. There. And then you lock the cuff. Huh? Jason, what are you doing? You go confused. You go confused. Okay. So there, another one. Going there. See? So, hopefully you got that. And so, just as an apology, I will repeat it one last time. <laughs> to make sure that everybody got it. So, one more time. This way, maybe it will help. There, okay? So, you get the bottom most band. Okay? Okay, my eyes are adjusting. You get that and you bring it home to itself. Get the other one, bring it home to itself, and then get the next bottom band, bring it home to itself. Get the next bottom band, bring it home to itself. Okay, and then from there, you get from the center going out, you get the cuff first, you cuff it. There. Okay. Sorry, my hands in the way. And then you go back in the center. Loop outside. Loop outwards. Loop outside. <laughs> loop outwards. And then there. And then get the next one. Loop it up like that. Get the next one. Loop it up. Then get the next one and loop it out. loop it out okay so everything that's in the center you loop out and then you do the border bands border bands border bands okay and lastly you're going to bring this in inside there like that okay it is closed there right there and then you Cuff it. You cuff it like that. There. And then you bring up the border bands again. Last step. Chara. Okay. So hopefully that wasn't so hard. If ever, just rewind. Let me know and message me, and I will be back when I finish the entire loom and show you how we will remove it. See you in two seconds. Okay, so we've gone to the final part of the laying of the bands and so I'm uh, sorry, the the looping. So I will do it with you so we can finish it. So as I said earlier, we will start. Okay, so from the bottom, in case for those who are still confused here, you go out, okay, and then you go out from here. Oopsie, don't go with the other one. Okay, there. You go up there, okay, and then you get the two again. Bring it up, and then you cuff the white. Okay, and then from inside you bring it outwards. And then you get the other one, go it cross up, go, go cross it, and then you get the other one, put it out there. And then get it here, the one here, bring it there. Eat, get the one that crosses, bring it there, and this one goes here. Okay, then you get, sorry, you go to the border, loop the border up. To lock everything in place. The border, lock everything in place. Then get the outer band, bring it in. 
the outer band bring it in and then you cuff the white band or there there then you get the border band again and your sequence is complete okay so for the last one you go in it's out this is the last one so okay then you bring it in okay and then you cough Then you bring out ones in the center bring the next one across bring the next one to the side go back in the next one bring it down bring this one across then bring this one to the side and we will close it yay so now you go to the border bands just go all the way up to the center just like so. Go all, all the way up to the center. Ta da! And now we get our C clip. Hello, C clip. How are you? I'm okay. <coughs> okay, so you get the two bands at the bottom. Oh no, wait, let's start from the right because it's easier. Okay, so you get the two bands, then you put your C-clip, like that. Okay, then you get the other two, the end, then you put it up, then you put it on the C-clip. There! It's locked! Yay! So that is how your loom is supposed to look like. Okay? We will now remove, and you know me and my methods, it will take forever because I am not the one who rushes. But we'll do it a little bit faster for this one. You might want to use this technique in case you haven't tried it. It's safer for your bands. You won't break them better. Okay. Just keep doing that. You know, guys, um, I really need to apologize if I tend to rush a bit because, to be honest with you, I have 10 more to film. So, <laughs> I am kind of freaking out and I gotta do stuff fast just for this because I just need to get all of these tutorials done so that we can get the bulk of the designs out so that you guys can start making many bracelets and you can enjoy my channel more so just for this first set we might need you might feel that i'm rushing a little bit because i have a lot to film so now we can remove it one by one there we go okay aha hooray hooray i'm so happy i'm so proud of this bracelet i actually like it you know, in case you guys are curious, the reason why I also came out with this design, it's to get myself out of the rut of, you know, like, because I tend to focus on designs that are so organized, like, they're so safe, you know. This one challenged me and actually made me very creative. You see, I mean, it, 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 it feels like it's a mess, you know, but if you are very playful with your bands, you might be surprised with what you can come up with. This is just a design, but your creativity will make it come out some more. So I would suggest, for example, like changing the bands of like the four, these four bands that go out like that. That's a nice detail actually. So I will probably play around with it more and see how we can make it look so much nicer because there's so much detail in this that you will enjoy well, once you're actually holding the bracelet in front of you you might be surprised that it actually is nice 
it's like an embroidery of sorts so just cleaning it out a bit and basically here you have it that's the doublet okay so we've got this one and that one of course the other one which I made in one loom so there really really nice I like it a lot so this is called the doublet okay I want you guys to try it and hopefully you will tag me tag Jay's Alvarez when you make it and doublet bracelet because those are the things that I search for when I look for the bracelet I look for the name of the bracelet so if it's corset it's corset bracelet you have to add because there's so many corsets like thousands so you have to really add bracelet to it okay and of course my name Jay's Alvarez um, it's also cute when you tag me as Lex Luthor <laughs> Lex Tudor rather Lex Tudor so that's fun Okay, so that's doublet. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Please try it out. And thank you. Thank you everybody so much for supporting the channel. I'll see you again.